thought I'd share this article with y'all. It's from the DailyMail.com. Uh, interestingly enough, that's the same paper that uh, Rene DeHinden heard about a an expedition to search for the Yeti in 1954 or late 1953. He heard it on the CBC. But anyway, a very interesting article. This came out a couple of days ago, but I was just made aware of it today. Article uh, asks, when did apes start walking upright? There's a 12.3 million year old hip bone fossil from an ancient ancestor which may rewrite our evolutionary tree. From a, an ancestor of the orangutan called Civipithecus indicus. Early ape which lived in what is now Pakistan around 12.3 million years ago. Scientists believed a common ape ancestor was the first to walk upright. I find this to be a very interesting article. And interestingly enough, this particular species of ape had a very narrow uh, torso and very narrow hip bones, whereas most modern apes have wider hips and wider torsos. You can see this is the hip bone of Civipithecus indicus which may lead to the evolutionary tree of apes and humans being rewritten. As it suggests, apes evolved to walk upright more than once in the past. Hmm. Very fascinating. Now they had a narrow torso, that's it. A, a much, which actually resembles that more of monkeys. Whereas your larger apes, such as your orangutans, such as your gorillas, such as your uh, bonobos, your chimpanzees, they have uh, much larger torsos than apparently this creature did. And the suggestion is that this particular species may have had both ape-like and monkey features, has left researchers baffled about how it fits into the evolutionary tree. If it is indeed an ancestor of the orangutan, then it could mean the upright ape-like body plan evolved at least twice in the past, once in orangutans and once in other great apes. Now, of course, I mean, does this, how does this apply to Sasquatch? I think it applies to Sasquatch rather well. Um, I would say that uh, it applies to the Sasquatch in that um, they are apes as well. That, that that the implication that they is that Sasquatch are apes. That just because um, you walk upright does not necessarily mean that you're human or that you're a humanoid. It may mean that you are um, much more um, ape-like still, even though you can walk upright. Apparently, bonobos can actually walk on, wade through water on two legs using a branch as a walking stick. Now, that indicates a high degree of intelligence. Especially for an animal that is usually, habitually, um, quadrupedal. Very fascinating article. Um... And, and I, th I think it, I think it tells a lot about uh, if, if, if these facts are correct, it follow it, it tells quite a bit about uh, how the evolution of the ape species includes these upright apes. Uh, there was a, a book that came out a few years ago called the upright ape 
in which uh, a surgeon actually found an old uh, spinal column of an ape and uh, or no, it was a rib cage and the rib cage indicated that this that, that, that apes may indeed have been adapted to walk upright rather than quadrupedally but they walk quadrupedally anyway I'm going to have to look that up by the way uh, matter of fact let me do that right now yes Aaron G. Filler the upright ape uprightape.net the new theory that apes evolve from humans this is it Oh, okay, it was a lumbar vertebra, an ancient fossil in Morado, Uganda, from 21 million years ago. And it was an ape uh, lumbar vertebra. So it's really not uncommon these days. To, to find that uh, certain evolutionary um, tropes that were thought to be true are being challenged quite a bit. But, but it does seem as if um, apes evolved from humans, not the other way around. I find it to be quite interesting.